Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to take a look at adding new actors or new interactables to the scene, something like one of the guns or the swords. And in this case, it's been brought up on Discord that someone's trying to do a TV remote. So I thought we would do the exact same thing and show you how to set that up. Um, I'm just going to do this in the blueprints folder, I'll clean it all up afterwards and then include it in the next update. But the first thing we're going to do is actually import our mesh. So I've got a TV remote mesh. We're going to generate missing collisions. So it creates one for us. And then I'm just going to do import all. We can ignore the smoothing groups and all that. So in here, what we're going to do is double check that we have a collision. And we can go show simple collision. And we can see we've got one around the mesh. It's a bit high, so I'm just going to do a box collision. And then on the right, we're just going to make sure that it is set to block all, which should be fine. Or we can actually change this to VR interactable as well, which will be good because that's exactly what it is. Now we can create a blueprint class. We're going to do actor, we have BP underscore TV remote. Open this blueprint up, and then we're going to drag in our static mesh so we can add it. And what we want to do is we want to make sure you remove the default scene route. We're going to do that by dragging the TV remote just onto it. And then it will update for us. Cool. So here we've got collision presets. We're going to change this to VR interactable. And we also need to make sure that simulate physics is set to true. This way when we put it in the level, it'll actually fall down and it'll land where it needs to go and our controllers can detect it. Cool. So what we can do now is we can go to add and we're going to do a grab component. So C, grab component. And on this one, we can place it where it is. Mine's going to be slightly different for the grab type to what you have access to now, but I'm going to rename it. But we have a free and snap. Ignore the stationary. We're going to use snap for this. And that, what that means is this will snap its position to the controller based on the rotation of our grab component. And that means if we picked it up now, it's going to be all off, if that makes sense. So if we jump in, I'll show you. Makes it easier. So if we jump in, ignore the sword on the floor because I moved it over. And then we wait for it to load. I don't know if it's just crashed because I'm trying to do a tutorial. And yes, it crashed. <laughs> so let's load back in. Make sure we're on it. Where's the play button? There we are. Cool. And now we've got no TV remote. Is that because I did not drag it into the level? You can tell it's 8.40 on a, on a morning. Cool. So now we can go up to it. Collision is going to be in the way for the controller, but... I can actually grab it and you can see that it's way off. The rotation is not what we want. We want that pointing straight on. So what we can do is rather than eyeballing it, because that's just going to take you forever to do and is super annoying. What you can do is you can grab the grab component and then you can search for static mesh. This is the fastest and easiest way I found. And for static mesh, search for the motion controller that you're using. So, um, in this case, it's going to be Oculus. So I could select something like the Oculus left touch. Doesn't matter which one. Now, with the grab component selected, we can actually rotate this to match exactly where we want it to be. So for the angle, just move this around, say about there. So it goes through the middle of the the remote, essentially where it would be. Cool. So now we do compile, we can actually delete that static mesh and then we can jump back in. I'm gonna save all because my machine's a bit untrustworthy. And now when we go up to an object or a grabable specifically, we can grab that and it's now facing the correct direction. It's showing the old Rift 1 controllers so the bar goes around the bottom, but it would go across the top. And that is how we align our meshes. So what about skeletal mesh hands? So this system is also pretty easy to set up. If you want to learn how to do custom animations 
there's another video covering all of that but we won't be doing that in this one so what we want to do is we want to add a child actor I am looking at ways I can maybe improve this so it's not a child but right now this is the best solution and we're going to do this as snap hand left and then we'll duplicate it to be snap hand right cool then for these ones we're going to set the child actor class to snap hand and then we'll do the same thing for the left snap hand however what we're going to do for the left one is we're going to go to child actor template drop down and we're just going to say is left hand and this will mirror it for us cool so now we can actually take these as well and what I should have done is made these a child of the grab component so they're all in the same place so if we move the grab component they actually update where they are on the remote as well which makes life a little bit easier cool so let's rotate these around so this is the right hand and then these could obviously go wherever you want them to and you can have your own animations but for now I'm just gonna leave it as they are so there pretty rough just to get an idea and then um yeah let's move it back and then move the grab component forward oh. there we go doesn't have to be exactly perfect for this but still want it to be used cool so if we leave it like that we can leave these as it is and now if we jump in nothing's gonna happen because I forgot the code oh my god it's so early okay <laughs> so now <laughs> select the grab component go to first hand grabbed so this reads the the actual motion controller from the grabbing so if we grab with one hand it's going to receive the first one and we're going to drag in a reference to both of these and what we're going to do is just to save some time is we're going to go to an already existing actor and we just want to take the motion controller motion source left the branch and the two snap hand positions as well as the child actor nodes we can copy that over, paste that in, motion controller, plug that up to the branch. So snap hand right is going to be at the bottom because left equals true. Go to the top. And then we can make sure the hand skeletal mesh is plugged into our skeletal mesh output. So now we hit compile and we press play. What we can do is we can jump in. We can go over to it once I start up and we can still interact with the controller and you see it's moved forward because we moved the grab component location and ignore the pointer that doesn't disappear I'm debugging that one but what we can do is we can grab this now and you can see that the hand is in the position that we set it to with the actual motion controller and we can only do the one cool so that is it for setting up a new interactable actor and a grabbable. If you were to do the same thing for a stationary object, all you would do is in the version that you have, set the grab type to none. So see grab type, set this to none. In the new update, it's going to have a stationary uh, grab type. But that's literally it. And then you should be able to good, you should be good to go. So just to recap, it is make sure your TV remote has a collision. Uh, collision preset can be VR interactable or left default. In the TV remote, you want to make sure in the blueprint for the TV remote, you want to make sure that the static mesh or skeletal mesh is the, the first in the hierarchy, not the scene component. And then make sure grab type grab component is a child of the TV remote. And then snap hands are childs of those as well. Um, TV remote also needs simulate physics or the static mesh simulate physics 
and then make sure the collision preset is set to VR interactable and that should be it. You should be good to go. Um, yeah, I'm going to look into doing more complicated grabbing systems so you can grab actors in different places and see if I can use the snap hands blueprints to control that element which I think would be a really good use for both sides to keep both versions in there. Um, but until then, hopefully this will be okay. If you want to check out more information on the the actual template and see what's in it, make sure to check out, check out Epic Games. Um, you can search for the GDXR VR template and maybe have a look at downloading it. And if not, maybe the Patreon, which we've got a version there, which could be handy. Um, but yeah, big thanks to everyone. This video is not going to be edited, so I'm just going to stop now and upload it. Bye.